Ian, last time out, Dorian Darch at the Brentwood Centre just before Christmas. He was the first unbeaten fighter you'd faced in your career. Just talk us through that fight. Oh, it was an entertaining fight for the crowd. Been getting lots of positive feedback from it. Everyone was excited and everyone thought it was a thriller. Was that the sort of win for you that, that made you feel, you know, I, I can go a long way? No, it weren't the win that made me think that. Cause I, didn't, I always knew I could, but it was just a matter of getting a fight that would showcase that, which that one did to an extent because it showed my adaptability in fights, which I was able to box in when I chose to counter when I, bo- when I wanted to or, fo- or box in when I had to or even fighting. But all that fight done for me was showcase what was there, where I never had the opportunity to do so beforehand. Have you been a bit frustrated with the opportunities you've had or not had since you turned over from the amateur game then? <clears throat> well, there ain't been many opportunities there. I ain't going to say it's anyone's fault, but the reason behind it is because I've been inactive and you can't really showcase your skills if you're not fighting. And that's how it's been. And the fact of the matter is I haven't been fighting, so therefore I haven't been able to show the general public and everyone else what I'm capable of. But where I've had... Um, activity now with the Darch fight the fight before that I've had fights back to back so I'm able to show and fight how I choose to and how I want to So how big an opportunity is prize fighter for you then in showcasing yourself on the TV in front of a big audience? No, it's a big opportunity because I've got a big, a few big names in there as well which I can knock out and the world can see me knocking them out so it is an opportunity and You reached the top four as an amateur do you feel that it's taken you a little bit longer than you might have liked to to adapt to, pro, to the pro game? It never took me long to adapt to it. The only problem was, like I explained, it was in a, inactivity. So that was the fact. It's like when I did turn pro, I was riddled with injuries, so therefore I weren't able to showcase what I wanted to and I weren't able to get to where I needed to get in the time span which, which I should have done. And you, you're with Steve Goodwin now. I know when he first took you on, he said you maybe lacked a little bit of desire. Is that something you agreed with? And have you got that spark back now? I never lacked desire because oh, you put me in a ring anytime, anywhere. I'd always fight. I love fighting. That's the truth. But where he, where he said desire, I'd probably more would go towards commitment to training. That's how I'd summarise it. I wouldn't say desire because the desire to win is always there. Anytime you're in a fight... Even if you're in a pub brawl, you never go in it to lose. You're going to try and fight to win. But it's just this desire to train. That's all it was. So what happened? What made you lose that desire to train? Because I've never been a, f- a fan of training. I never have. I just I live for the day. I just like to turn up and fight. But as you know, in, in pro boxing, that's not the case. So it's just the fact that I've had to get on with training and put in the work which needs to, needs to be done. So you, you feel you've got the right mental attitude now with regards to training to fulfil your potential and go a long way? The mental attitude's there, but it's, I'm more, I take more comfort in the fact that I know what I've done in preparations to get me to the prize fighter. So I believe the prize fighter title is mine because of that. So what have you been doing in preparations? I've just been training. Lots, putting in lots of work in the gym, lots of rounds sparring, lots of rounds pads, doing all that. You obviously were very successful in the amateurs. Is this a little bit similar in the way that it's the shorter rounds or is it still completely different because there's not the head guards and the vests and things like that? No, the format of it, over three rounds, over three, three minutes, is the same in the sense that if you're boxing amateur, um, it's three, three minute rounds. So that, so that sense of it, it is the same, but it's different in the sense that in the professionals, they don't hit to score, they hit to hurt. And that's the difference with the punches in pros. People punch to hurt, they don't punch to score. With eight professional fights, you're by far the most inexperienced pro fighter in this prize fight. There's a lot of experienced guys there. Is that something that bothers you at all? No, not at all, because a fight is a fight, isn't it? Whether whether a fighter's had 30 fights or he's had 40 fights, a fight is a fight, so we'll see on the day whether that inexperience that you say I have is a factor, but I don't believe it will be. So what should we expect to see from you on the night? Carnage. A lot of people getting beaten up. So there's a stoppage bonus there then, £2,000 per stoppage. Is that something you've got your eye on then? If you've watched any of my fights, you know, it's not tactically the best thing, but in all honesty, I always go out there to me with the intention to hurt the people. I don't, when I, when I approach a fight, my, my number one priority isn't to win the fight, it's to hurt the person. I go in there with the intention to hurt them before winning. 
and it shows in the performances because I'm always over eager to hurt the person so I think that will bring excitement to it so going in there with that mind frame it will produce a few knockouts I reckon. It's an international heavyweight, but you're a London boxer. Do you think with it being at the York Hall, that could help you a little bit with getting the crowd behind you on the night? No, I believe I should have a good following behind me, sold a few tickets. So, yeah, I would have a few people coming there supporting me. And it's the Betfair prize fighter. Why should the Betfair punters be backing you to win prize fighter? Because with me, they're guaranteed excitement, guaranteed knockouts. My style of fighting is non-stop action. Perfect. Thank you, Ian.